Hi students, coming to the next topic uh, that is the requirements model. Uh, so whatever the software product that we are going to uh, develop, first you need to uh, gather the requirements, after that analyze that, after that uh, you try to design the next. Let me write the stages, first is requirements gathering, after that analyze, analyze the requirements. After that, start the design process, implementation, implementation, test, and deploy. So these are the different stages that uh, we came across while we are need to develop any product. So now let us see the first that is the requirement modeling. So whatever the stage that we are doing, so everything first you need to represent in a diagrammatic form. So in implementation, so what are the uh, methods and what are the functions that is the internal structure is going to be designed. In the design phase, the complete details about the requirements has to be designed. In the analysis phase, so what are the uh, exact uh, what are the models that is the static and the dynamic models that will that are created that are used in the product that has to be designed so every stage has to be designed now let us see the first stage that is the requirement uh, modeling so in the re, uh, for designing any uh, stages the technique we use the standard language that we use is a uml uml is the unified modeling language is a standard language for is a standard language for object oriented software design so if you want to design any object oriented software you have to use the uml language that is a unified modeling language so if you use the unified modeling language how we are going to, by using the unified modeling language how we are going to design the requirements and how we are modeling the requirements with the help of unified modeling language actually the unified modeling language has different models that will be included that is the use cases models activity models static models dynamic models so different models will be uh, used in the unified modeling language so but the requirement modeling will use only use case model use case modeling defines software fundamental uh, functional requirements define the software functional requirements in terms of in terms of use cases and actors so the requirement uh, to gather the functional requirements so what are the functional requirements that we gather from the customer that will be represented in terms of use cases and actors so the requirement modeling will use only use cases and actors to represent the uh, to show the modeling uh, the requirements in the diagrammatic representation so now let us see the notation for this uh, uh, uml notation for use case diagram uml notation for use case diagram so this here is an actor actor is a person or anything actor deals with the use case so this is a symbol for the use case and this is an actor so here uh, one use case can be interacted with the another use cases so one use case can extend it to the another use case one use case can include it in another use cases so this is just a representation a notations that we used in the requirement modeling is a use case and the actors and this is an actor and here it is an use case so these will both will be communicate with the help of some relationship so this is about the requirements modeling Thank you.